Skyrim is one of the most impressive games ever made, but what's even more impressive is all the platforms Bethesda has managed to launch the game on. You have PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation VR, and a Windows VR version. Over the years, you've probably seen and heard the jokes of the next platform Bethesda will launch the game on, from a toaster to a calculator to about anything you can think of. You are pissing me off. What next? Recently at Games Lab 2018, Bethesda's Todd Howard actually discussed the memes, saying in an interview with Jeff Keighley, even now, the amount of people who play Skyrim seven years later, millions of people every month are playing that game. That's why we keep releasing it. If you want us to stop releasing it, stop buying it. Most developers would move on to making The Elder Scrolls 6, but Bethesda is thinking outside the box, thinking instead why not just make the game that came in 2011 to critical acclaim available to everyone everywhere, while allowing longtime fans who may be tired of Skyrim to enjoy The Elder Scrolls Online and Legends, the games that we truly need. That really pisses me off. Quick side note, Skyrim is actually also a Monopoly game, so... Yeah, but number-wise, just on Steam alone, Skyrim's peak number of players at one time is 50,000 players in 2018, which obviously doesn't include all the other platforms players are on, but it does show how many people truly love and enjoy this game still today. For a single-player game released back in 2011 to still being played by so many people is just crazy in my opinion. Todd Howard would also mention in that same interview how the long-term success of a game like The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is a good thing, as he has a desire to see his gaming worlds remain sustainable in the long term. Specifically, he stated, Every year there's a new idea that we cannot do, and a new technology for something that excites us. I'd say I want it to be sustainable. Eventually there will come a day where I'm not making games at Bethesda. Hopefully Hopefully that's a long time away, but I want to make sure that who we are, what the worlds are, what the company is, that's sustainable far beyond me. And I have to say, at this point, you'd have to be living under a rock to not know what Skyrim is. And with comments like this, it makes me wonder when Fallout 4 gets the complete Skyrim treatment. But at E3 2018, it was revealed the next platform Bethesda would be bringing this legendary masterpiece to, that being Amazon Alexa. There was a short little skit with Keegan-Michael Key, and a lot of people thought it was a joke, but no, 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 it's it, it's the real deal. A mud crab scuttles towards First you. Roda. I didn't catch that. First Roda. I didn't quite catch that. First Roda. Your shout echoes all the way to Sovngarde. What? They actually somewhat ported the game over. If you're unaware, Amazon Alexa is a virtual assistant, and with this brand new Skyrim port, it pretty much has you using your imagination as Amazon Alexa describes the environment you're in and the choices you can make, like battling a frostbite spider or maybe just fleeing. Now, what's even more interesting is that a bunch of users on Reddit have figured a way to play Skyrim on a toilet. And again, this is, this, it's not a joke. When? I didn't know that. How can this be? A special $6,000 toilet called the Numi is compatible with Amazon Alexa technology, meaning you could drop some logs and scream some shouts at your toilet as you fight dragons and whatever else in Skyrim. Typically, I never really looked at the bathroom experience as more than playing a crappy, mediocre mobile game, but hey, a new way to play one of the greatest games ever. There's gotta be one hardcore fan out there just drooling at the possibility of making this a reality. Still, dropping 6 Gs on a toilet for just Skyrim takes someone with a serious big wallet and maybe some mad dedication and heart. But hey, as dumb as some may think this sounds, there's someone watching this video right now thinking this actually is not that bad of an idea. But hey, if you ever wanted to play Skyrim while you're taking a dump, it's it's possible now. I don't think any port could top this, but I would love to know where else Skyrim should go to next. Let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. Also, consider subscribing for much more Bethesda content to come, and I'll see you later.